Tonight, new ethics questions are swirling around conservative Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. Newly released financial disclosures reveal Justice Thomas took multiple trips last year aboard a private plane owned by Republican megadonor Harlan Crow. CBS's Jan Crawford has new details tonight from the Supreme Court. In the financial disclosure report, Justice Thomas reveals three trips last year on a friend's private jet and a paid luxury vacation at his estate in the Adirondacks, while insisting any omissions from his previous financial disclosure reports were inadvertent, a result of long-standing guidance he received from court officials. Two of the trips on friend and Republican donor Harlan Crow's private jet were for speeches. Thomas says his security uh, detail uh, advised uh, private travel last May uh, because of the increased security risk after a draft leak of the court's opinion overturning Roe versus Wade. Thomas also amended a filing regarding a real estate transaction with Crow, who in 2014 bought three properties from Thomas and his family members in Savannah, Georgia, including his mother's home. Thomas said he didn't realize he had to report the sale because he didn't make a profit from it. Thomas has been under intense media scrutiny for his relationships with Crow and other wealthy conservatives, who picked up the tab for luxury vacations on private jets and yachts, prompting criticism from Democrats that he didn't disclose some financial benefits, even if friends like Crow never had business before the court. If there is, and I quote, reasonable cause to believe, close quote, that Justice Thomas willfully failed to file, then it must refer him to the Justice Department for further investigation. Thomas's attorney says those suggestions were ridiculous and motivated by hatred for his judicial philosophy. Now, Justice Thomas did not amend his reports to disclose travel like those luxury trips from years past. He has maintained that under the old disclosure rules, it wasn't required. This is the first report the first year under new rules that make clear justices going forward need to require need to disclose that kind of travel. He says he's following the rules and that's what he's done in this report. Nora. Jan Crawford, thank you.